All right, let's see if this video is working. You know, what's kind of neat is that um, uh, this person didn't make the music, but uh, they posted the, um, um, the video for the music that I'm listening to right now, one of the tracks. And uh, the person is uh, called uh, Gabriella Latora. I was just like, oh, this is so cool. I noticed it a couple of days ago. I was like, what the hell? So yeah, I just thought that was kind of nice. A, a nice, another nice little connection. Um, on a side note, um, just because I'll probably forget and I'd like to, to mention it. Um, you know, one thing that really, uh, I found really motivating or gosh, it felt really good to, uh, uh, to read was, um, oh, I, like I said, I, I like all the comments or whatever, but, um, boy, did it ever feel good. Um, or, as in I'm using it, uh, to, you know, to, for other, to, to say to other people, which is basically, um, yeah, dad versus son there a little while ago made a comment about, uh, what someone was mentioning to me, like, well, you boy, you spend a lot of time doing this or could be, and there weren't being whatever they were, they were not being a, that type of person, uh, like, uh, flippant or whatever. They just, you know, wanted to know why, or, you know, like, could I be doing something else or whatever? And, you know, and, uh, dad versus son re uh, responded basically just saying, you know, like, uh, and yet again, not being flippant, but just saying, you know, uh, uh, is that a question, you know, somebody would ask a golfer or anybody else who's trying to do, you know, even if it's just a semi-pro dart player, whatever, you, whatever the heck you're into. Um, yeah, and after that, I was just like, gosh, it just felt really good. And what I'm doing now, what it, it's done, I mean, it was, it's just nice to say to people. Um, like even today I was at work call and there's another thing I'm going to say on a side note is, well, there's some people it's in, you know, it's just the way it goes. I don't think they're worried, obviously, but for everybody else, I'm like, no, Chris, um, that's a uh, territory. You don't go down. You have to like clue in. There's like, you're in a YouTube universe and all that crazy nonsense, but just don't use other people's names. Uh, like Stefan, Zoe and Rob are their toast. I mean, I've got to use them because everybody knows about them, but anybody else, forget it. I'm just going to say colleague or what have you. And this also goes, I've used it a few times and I'm really happy I've continued doing it. I'm going to do it right now, uh, later on, um, is um, when I'm communicating with people, even though I just broke the rule a little, I'll try never again to do. No, I did in a previous video, but no more is what I'm, hopefully no more. I'll try to be aware of it is if I communicate with people outside of uh, the YouTube world, I usually don't try to say their name in the YouTube thing, even though um, uh, they post in the comments or whatever. I'm just like, well, I, it's not, you know what I mean? It's just to me, I'm trying to find my own etiquette or whatever, or trying to be aware of other people's, you know, I mean, you know, you get the idea, I hope. Anyways. Let's get to this for a tiny little bit, but I'm just going to say also on a side note, I'm not going to get into specifics, whatever, but uh, this has been a good beginning of the week and I hope it continues. I feel like um, a bit of a plat. I'm on a plateau. I don't know if that's a bad thing or what. I don't understand metaphors very well, but um, for me, it's just level ground. Uh, I can see the horizon or whatever you want to call it. I, I'm not, I don't feel like I'm exerting a lot of effort. Uh, there's sure trust me there's chunks of my brain or whatever that want to go hey what's going on like don't worry buddy um the anxiety will kick in and it'll take care of uh this you know uh desire to do 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 or whatever uh that type of stuff um uh and it's not being lazy is uh, uh it's and I also wouldn't say it's being completely reflective. Uh, it's part of it. Um, and I think this is also uh, what I'm going to connect to is what I, what I was saying that I'm trying not to do. Uh, somebody sent me a message uh, on BGG who also comments on here and um, said, you know, I haven't seen a video of yours in a little while, but well, whatever. And um, of, I don't know what their version of, you know, uh, I haven't seen it in a while. Um, and, uh, part of me, it was not like a concerted effort to do that or whatever. I was just like, um, going with what felt right or feels right. And, um, yeah, it, uh, just feels 
this is the way I'm doing. Actually, I didn't even expect to be doing this video at, at this point. However, I was also thinking, gosh, there's been so much stuff going on. I'm trying to synthesize whatever. And that was the other thing. I was like, this is just another medium for me to, you know, write in the journal. Oh, God, it's been so flippin' nice, man, to be able to uh, write in the journal. I get, well, it's, well, it's just that I've been doing it. Um, and I got down to figuring, like, I've got journals all over the flipping place. And I was like, okay, I've got to start, like, they're starting to bleed into each other. Like, you know, the grand campaign bit and the mini game and so on and so forth. The record keepings, those are different things to do. But I was like, okay, I need, and then there's a portable one. I need a traveling journal. And then I was starting to try to transcribe um, that stuff. Look at this, eh? What an idiot. Um, hold on, put it away. Um... So then, I, yeah, I've, so I think I found a good, uh, I've shown the little, um, the little uh, portable one that I used. Anyways, I think I'm going to go with that because I was starting to realize I wasn't transcribing all the notes anyways. So I was, and I was also starting to lose uh, trains of thoughts and that type of stuff. So I was just like, okay, I've got to figure out, you know, some kind of whatever. Um, also, yet again, about pacing, um, I'm just like... It's going to be okay. It's going to be okay. Uh, oh my gosh. On a side note, this is, and it makes me feel so good on two, on two ways for sure. One, cause way back when, when I wanted to reboot after doing this mini game, uh, and I was like, okay. And I had, uh, the little, uh, the little, actually I've got a giant size version of the map on the wall, but I had a little one upstairs on my whiteboard thingamajig. And I was doing pretend, uh, you know, what ifs. And I was thinking, okay, that sounds crazy. If I told the real gamers, that's you people, I don't consider them nice. You see what I mean? But anyways, and I was like, okay, if I tell the real gamers, like, oh, this is what I'd like to do. I'd like to see Germany um, ally with Russia. And I was trying to come up with this. And then, you know, Austria, Hungary with France and Britain. And oh my gosh, it was neat. I had all these crazy little narratives going on. And I uh, really wanted to try it out. And then I was like, oh, if I, you know, People are going to laugh their heads off or, or go, good God, you don't know any, like you're such an idiot, whatever. And then I just find out a few days ago, I'm reading in the, the old consim forum, uh, thingamabob that, um, freaking Dave Schroeder, one of his favorite little things to do is, is have Russia ally with Germany. I'm like, what? That's so cool. I just, anyways, and then I'm like, okay, this is telling me yet again about just, uh, just do your thing, uh, uh, or like do my thing, and I'm you know um, yeah just gonna do it. Um, also, I'm trying to s yet again. When I saw that, I went okay. I don't have to go so freaky crazy about trying to figure out every single strength point of what's been going on with all the other fronts. Well, obviously it's gonna be the Western Front, the the primary thing of like okay the start and these reinforcements. What came on like what went towards the east? Okay the some things are going to be easy to figure out, but then, uh, and then I was like, okay, do I, um, how do I go? And then I was looking at his thing about, uh, to April and, um, the rules are stipulating, okay, you have to, uh, you know, if you're the, to, you know, you've got to take so many strength points away from the French units and so many from the British and so on and so forth and whatever, and from the beginning army bits and, um, and then I was like, okay, then I've got to remember about, uh, I was trying to, and I'm not sure if it's the way to do it about converting strength points. I mean, um, 18,500, uh, troops or whatever into a, uh, one division and divide that by four. You get the idea. I was trying to figure out and then seeing, okay, the, the losses historically, and then going back and I was like, holy smokes, like just to get to this finessing of whatever. I was like, okay, let's, you don't need to go that, uh, that fine tuning of whatever and I'll let it slowly get back, you know, in as it goes. That's what I'm hoping. Hold on. I want to pop my music back on. I don't know what the hell happened there. Uh, it just stopped and it just flipped me right out. I, I thought I told it to loot forever. You stupid. Come on, you silly goose. Aren't you supposed to loot forever? Loop. Shuffle. And play, please. Are you not going to play? There we go. All right. I just kind of, I just need um, other parts of my brain to do, otherwise they start, um, they start taking over the microphone, I guess is what I could, uh, what I can say. Um, too long. Everybody gets a chance at the microphone, I guess. Um, 
here. I think I've mentioned it before. Uh, it, it's too far away. You know, okay. I went and watched my very, 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 very first video, and everything the Germans wanted to do, the Central Powers, has happened. Uh, except this bit, they didn't exp exp like they, uh, this completely happened. Well, okay, this didn't, but this bits all happened. I'm like, oh my god, like. And I was watching a video or reminding myself after I saw this, and I was looking, trying to figure out what the hell trying to figure out some way, especially now that I realize that um, after watching Mandarin Mike's uh, mention of, uh, excuse me, uh, but um, you're, you're not getting uh, the solid rail lines properly uh, with the frequently asked questions thing, is that um, how much more important this is now. Um, one of the original things way, way, way back when was a coordination of trying to get here. Oh, cheapers jump well, so too late now. Um, so what I'm going to try to do, oh, here's the other thing is these purple dudes here, the, uh, oh, I uh, can't say it yet. I heard it too last night. Oh, somebody said, and I actually said it a few times. I'm not sure if it was the Russian white. No, I don't think it was. I think it was the, I said the Czech. They also had a people's militia later on. I think I was using the Czech word for theirs. But anyways, these two, I have always had a problem with having all well, a, that um, there was going to be Russian people's militia in these areas just due to the fact of what I've been reading and knowing about how uh, the Russians, historic, from what I know, historically, we're not all that great. Um, put it this way, people felt better when they weren't around. How's that? I'll, I'll put it that way. Anyways. So I felt weird having to begin with having people's militia in these captured cities. I mean, it just sounded weird. Uh, but then I was like, okay, it was, see, it was okay for me afterwards when I realized, okay, I'm going to have them. They're only allowed to be used for counterattacks. Then I uh, started looking later on with the grand campaign stuff and whatnots. And I started cluing in that uh, he's talking about, you know, later on, you, you have to start, especially with the Osman Lee Harvey stuff. You've got uh, the Ottomans have to have garrison troops all over the flipping place. And I was like, okay, that's what I'm going to do. These two, uh, the Stanislaw uh, People's Militia Brigade and the Cernovitz um, uh, People's Militia Brigades cannot move. It's, it's just as simple as that. And they have it, uh, the same thing as well. They can only be used uh, for counterattacking purposes, their strength points. That's it. They're only one fours anyways, but I just like, I just like, just feels better. Um, so what are the, what are these guys going to do? Um, I've got my new guy here, Anatoly Rosenshield. I'm pretty sure I can get uh, Brusilov over to here. That's what, uh, one, two, because of the enemy zone of control, three, four, point done. And then I'll, I'll he can't move, but um, maybe I'll spit. What I'm going to try to do now is um, we're not going to give up any of this area. Oh. You know, look at this. All this converted rail, too. There's a railhead right here, for Christ's sakes. Like, like it's just like, ah, uh, Yeah, it doesn't... Look at that. It just sucks. So I'm, I don't want to give get rid of any of this stuff. Um, it's weird. I, I feel in a weird way I'm starting to go at the hardest bit first. I thought, like, all this other... But I don't know. We'll see. I'll just go. It's, it's kind of like reading books. Sometimes you just hop around. Or at least I hop around. You have to... Uh, um, where are you? I'm supposed to go in the middle, I guess. Oh, uh, yeah, you're good there. Um, so I'm, what I'm going to do th then is realize I can't, it's too far away, there's just not enough whatevers. So, and I also, on the flip side, have to realize, okay, new dude, uh, is was aggressive from what I've read, did fantastic, um, uh, saved the, uh, the First Army's bacon twice. Uh, at the very beginning of, um, historically, at, at the very beginning. So I'm like, okay, you're good, you're good. Um, is it, was it Brandon Tony totally Rosenshield? Yes, it was, yes, it was. Hold on here. Yes, so, ooh, I think so. Oh, I gotta, yeah, I'm pretty darn sure it was. Yes, yes, yes. Who is he though then? Protopopov. I thought Protopopov uh, saved. No, he, why would he be in the second army unless I brought him down there? No, he was in the uh, he was in one of the divisions. That's right. He was uh, promoted. So it must have been Anatoly Rosenshield. 
I thought Anatoly Rosenshield came in from, like, later on as one of the part of the 4th Cavalry or something. Or maybe I'm thinking of, I think in a, oh, Lord of Mercy, maybe I'm thinking of Germans. I'm getting people twisted. Yes, of course I am. Uh, he's the Kriegfrosch dude. Uh, Manfred von Richthofen. Holy F, okay, I'm getting the wrong people here. So Anatoly, Anatoly Rosenshield, yes, you were the guy that saved uh, the First Army's bacon twice. Holy jeepers, jumping. Oof, I thought there, I thought I was going crazy. Um, so anyways, what I'm going to try to do is get ready for January. That's all I can do. i got to also realize the Germans can't do everything. They're pretty darn far away. So try to get something in place. Um, to go towards it and, and hope to God it's not too late, but I don't want to get rid of, I'm not getting rid of any of this. Originally I was going to, uh, bring them all back. But I'm like, no, I don't think that the, uh, the, uh, the Austro Germans, um, you know, I have to start using that term now because I've got them in, inserted all over the flipping place. Uh, the Austro Germans are not going to be able to, uh, be everywhere and they're going to, you know, I'll just go with it. Is there anything else I need to chit chat about? Probably. Um, stop, I'm sorry, stop clickety clicking. Um, yeah, I'll, I'll, yeah, I'll stop for now because I'm just going to go and wander, eat something or drink something or, yeah, I think I have a tiny bit of coffee left. Crazy. Um, yeah, uh, yeah, I've got a lot of cool stuff to watch on, um, YouTube. There's a lot of people that have, let me enter Mike, I haven't watched his, um, introductory Tannenberg thing. I just watched, um, Kilroy was here, had, um, uh, he was taking a look at the old SBI 1914, uh, sorry, uh, World War One uh, game. And I was like, oh my God, I just took that flipping map out yesterday because I was talking to somebody about it on Sunday. They were uh, mentioning about uh, the combat system and I just found it really intriguing. So I was like, okay, let's go take a look. And uh, next day there's somebody yabbering about it. I was like, this is awesome. It's just, what a wonderful world. Um, yeah, and it, that's when I think I kind of clue in for me. W wonderful worldish, if you want to look at it that way. I'm not all the time, but uh, I'm just, um, just don't want to go to sleep. That's basically it. I just, there's just too much to, um, too much to find out, too much to do. It's just been, just, yeah, just keep on going, man. Yep, 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 and yep. And this thing, this is going to take probably, what, six, well, as long, well, so I'd say six years now. <laughs> easy, easy. Yeah, I don't see this, uh, well, not the November turn. I expect this to be finished before uh, Christmas. That's what, six more turns? <laughs> oh, what a freak. Okay, I love it. Okay, see you later. Actually, I gotta go and hit the funky thing here. Hold on. My, my mouse is not acting. Yeah, there we go. Oh, you can see my arm. I've been watching that. Okay, see ya.